Mr. Yim, same question. Are you diverging? Are you starting to diverge with your interests with the United States? And, uh, and generally, what's your view of the situation? Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. I mean, uh, for the floor. Well, it's always a uh, great pleasure for me to be uh, at WPC and, uh, you know, uh, sitting in the prominent panel like this. Well, it's very embarrassing uh, that uh, I was preempted by my old friend, I mean, uh, you know, uh, for the presentation I, I'm going to make uh, uh, in, in this panel. Well, uh, we worked together a long time ago when uh, we had the first, I mean, North Korean nuclear crisis. Well, uh, Doug was uh, a White House official and uh, I was assigned in Washington working at the embassy. So we had to face, I mean, the first North Korean uh, crisis. But the uh, good thing is that we always, uh, you know, were on the same page. Uh, so uh, it was extremely easy uh, to work uh, with Doug, which means good, you know, cooperation between my government and the U.S. administration. Well, um, I think he, he you know, uh, well, aptly he presented, I mean, the overview of what's happening, uh, you know, uh, this year and uh, what happened last year. So uh, last year, I was sitting uh, in the same panel uh, saying that uh, South Korea faced the most dangerous national security crisis since the Korean War. Well, uh, North Korea continued a uh, provocation by making uh, nuclear bombs and launching long-range missiles. Well, uh, there was a dramatic turnaround, I mean, coming into the beginning of this year. Well, as uh, D uh, Dr. Paul said, I mean, President Moon uh, utilized uh, the momentum of the Winter Olympics at Pyeongchang in Korea and he induced North Korea uh, to come to the peace process on the Korean Peninsula and invited uh, uh, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un uh, to the summit table. So he succeeded in inducing Kim Jong-un and even succeeded in mediating uh, first ever held summit between the U.S. president and North Korean leader. So everybody was excited, I mean, to see what would happen when President Trump and uh, Kim Jong-il meet, you know, in the scheduled summit. Well, uh, we, we have seen, I mean, the, you know, uh, great fanfare and the great, I mean, you know, uh, summit which was held in Singapore and uh, as a North Korean negotiator, I had a very high expectations uh, from uh, the result of uh, the summit meeting between President Trump and Kim Jong-un. But I was, I mean, uh, you know, uh, very shocked, I mean, to see the contents of the Singapore agreement, I mean, which was printed, I mean, uh, later. Well, uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, President Trump made a misstep, uh, you know, uh, in inducing North Korea to the full and complete denuclearization. Well, uh, you know, if you look at the contents, uh, the language, I mean, they expressed in the statement is the North Korean language, not our language. Well, uh, South Korea and the United States set the goal, I mean, uh, for the denuclearization as CVID, complete, verifiable, reversible dismantlement or denuclearization. But what they said is the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, which has been used all the time by North Korea. Why not North Korea? but the whole Korean Peninsula, which includes South Korea. We don't have nuclear weapons. We never developed a nuclear project. But 
the only thing you know uh, we have uh, in South Korea is the U.S. nuclear protection and U.S. nuclear umbrella. So by you know mentioning uh, the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, which means you know, uh, well, the U.S. should withdraw the nuclear umbrella protection for South Korea. And uh, even with the, you know, North Korean language, I mean, they agreed, well, uh, three points. Uh, number one was to normalize the relations between North Korea and the United States. Number two, uh, peace, peace initiative or peace regime to uh, be established on the Korean Peninsula. Number three, denuclearization. So it gave rise to the sequencing problem. North Korea will insist that U.S. must act first, I mean, to normalize or to have, uh, you know, uh, well, regular relations uh, with North Korea before North Korea moves for denuclearization. So this is the, you know, problem. I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Trump, I mean, uh, well, he never understood or I don't know but what happened. And... Um, well, Kim Jong-un was very, uh, doing a very good job, uh, fully assisted by the institutional memory of the North Korean bureaucracy. But uh, Mr. Trump, I don't know what happened between himself and the uh, very you know, capable bureaucrats at the State Department and the DOD. So uh, there seems to be some you know, uh, gap between the White House and the other bureaucratic institutions of the United States. I strongly believe, uh, I trust, I mean, the you know, uh, State Department officials and the uh, U.S. military, and that they, I think that they will handle, I mean, this issue well uh, down the road. But <coughs> now, Trump, I mean, uh, Kim Jong-un, wants to have a second summit with uh, Mr. Trump. Why? Well, I think he can play around with uh, Mr. Trump, and uh, so uh, he doesn't want to have some uh, working level negotiations to resolve this issue, but he wants to get close to Mr. Trump. I mean, uh, you know, uh, well, Mr. Trump said they are in uh, love and uh, he likes the love letters from uh, Kim Jong Un all the time and keeps the letter in his uh, pocket. Thank you. So, well, I think uh, uh, still we have uh, impediments, obstacles before we realize the full <coughs> denuclearization of North Korea. But we cannot go back to the uh, confrontation uh, you know we saw last year. But uh, we have to keep North Korea on the table with our leverage, which is international sanctions. We had the two leverages until last year. We had a, a strong military uh, you know, uh, combined forces between the United States and South Korea. But after the Singapore summit, Mr. Trump let it go, and the normal combined military exercises between the US forces and South Korean military so we lost one leverage, but we still have, you know, uh, another effective leverage, which is uh, international sanctions led by the United States and the uh, United, uh, you know, nations. So uh, we have to keep going until we see uh, the change of North Korea in a genuine and uh, in sincerity. Thank you. I Thank you very much.